everybody. I'm at Cade's Cove today, and I was thinking about a community that I lived in, oh, I'd say about a hundred miles from here. We had about 50 families lived in that community, and it was back when television first came to that part of the world. They had opened a station up in Asheville, North Carolina, and uh, they had a commissary, and the commissary had purchased three uh, what they called table model televisions, and everybody in that community wanted one of those uh, televisions. The wind's blowing hard here today, so I hope you can uh, can hear me over the wind. And anyway, we wanted to purchase one of those televisions, and we went down there, and the price was just beyond most of what we could afford. So we peti petitioned the government to uh, print our own money, and uh, they granted permission for us to print our own money. And they told us, you know, to be conservative with uh, the amount of money that we printed. And we told them that we would, so we only printed $10,000 for each person. And the guy that was selling the televisions got wind of our print printing press. So before we could get down there, he had inflated his prices until the $10,000 was not enough. So we went back and cranked our printing presses up and went back and he inflated the prices once again. So eventually, when we went down there, we would uh, carry a, a wagon full of currency to try to buy a television. And the prices had inflated to the point to where that wasn't even enough. And somebody came up with a brilliant idea that we need to go back and print one piece of currency that would equal the wagon load of currency. And, uh, and one guy said, I tell you what, we'll call them Weimar Dollars. Well, I'm kind of doing a tongue-in-cheek today at uh, Cade's Cove. But as the title of this uh, video says, Inflation, Let's hope that uh, we don't get into a inflationary and spiral to where all they do is just print money. And the bullfrogs quit chirping because a crow just uh, came into the area and uh, they're hiding out.